Rick and Morty pop from the latest season. This one I picked up on Hot Topic off of their website. I did a uh, web to store order so that it would arrive safely and they shipped it in this handy little, or I shouldn't say little, big sorter box. And there you can see it has the San Jacinto markings on it. So go ahead and crack it open. I'd seen this one was coming for quite a while. I thought it was a GameStop exclusive as part of a box because it uh, had the toilet paper with it. But Hot Topic got it on their site and there's no exclusive sticker on it. No way, nice way to say it. It is the king of sh pop. Rick is sitting there on his throne and he does not look very happy because it's towards the end of the episode. Very funny episode. And even though it's a bigger one, you can see on the corner there it says it's $16.90 and then you stack some hot cash with it and it comes out pretty good. And the interesting thing, of course, right there it says, with sound. There's no little spot you can put your finger through to see what he says, so we gotta see uh, what's going on. Hey, it says batteries not included on the back. You mean to tell me that you have a talking pop that doesn't include batteries? Huh? Let's find out. I'd shown off the spacesuits on the back. I didn't do Hospice Morty. Um, or the new Mr. Poopy Butthole Auctioneer. Didn't do that one either. So opening the bottom, we have our little electronics guide. I had shown a Spider-Man previously that had some sound on it too. And there's our tag and our panel on the bottom where it looks like we might have to use batteries. It says times three AG13 button cell batteries not included. I don't know if I'm even gonna have those. So it has the portal backer card to go with the box. Nice thing about those bigger ones is they do use sturdy boxes, so even if they get beat up, they really don't get beat up bad. It's a two-piece mold, but then there is our king, and his little pop head will turn, and he's sitting on his porcelain throne. So sad, but so funny at the same time. His perfect scenario, his perfect toilet, it's got the flowers around it. It really does look like him in the episode, which is kind of funny. Pants down, you can see his bare little legs right there. And of course, the toilet paper roll. Rolling over the top, not from the bottom. Keep that in mind, folks. And the multi-piece toilet itself. Doesn't he look so sad? How many people with crowns look that sad? I love that it has the title on top as well. So let's see, does it play audio? So lame, you have to include your own batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and see if uh, see if I can find some batteries to go in here. I mean, it makes sense now that uh, it's 1690, they don't even include the batteries. The Spider-Man that I showed previously, it had the batteries in it, so all you had to do was pull that little tag and then, sure enough, it would play the audio. Well, it all makes sense now and why they didn't include the batteries. They want these size 13 batteries, which are like for hearing aids, and you need three of them. So this pack of eight was nine bucks. So on top of the MSRP of 17, add $9 to get some batteries. I'm sure you can get some cheaper ones, but I had to go to the local Jewel Osco. So I got them inserted in there. So for the extra $9, I hope there's a lot of audio clips on here. We'll see if we get our money's worth. Take it away, King. Wow, four fart slash toilet sounds, no quotes from the show. That is utterly disappointing and not worth the $9 in batteries by any means. It's still a cool figure, I like the figure. I don't see the reasoning behind the audio. Let's go ahead and give the uh, king a spin. Thanks for watching.